Donnie got a puncture this morning, fixing it now with his compressor. Well, Barrent, are you finding anything? Eh? Are you finding anything? Yeah, but not, I don't think it's very... Uh, is it, uh, that dock is with that 66 on the bottom, number 66, and the little fork. Oh yeah, very nice. And is this your very first time out metal detecting? This is the first time. And what what do you think about it? No, definitely. I will go on with it. You will? Yes. Yeah, I will. yeah. Well, well done. Okay, thanks a lot. Yeah. Okay. Bye, donkey. We're here on a Boer War campsite, dating to around 1900, 1901. There, looking for some artifacts. How are you today? Fine. Are you finding anything? Yes, I found a nice holder for a pipe. With your Xterra? Yes. Very nice. Yes. Oh yes, it's a pipe holder, yeah. Yeah, that closes the pipe yeah. closet. Yeah. And only for seeing these the other day, I wouldn't know yeah. what they were. There's some funny and it's some kind thing. of a tin. Seems like yeah. London or something. Wow. And around the two and another one. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, 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 you have enough. Artifacts there. <laughs> how are you? Um, how are you finding the Xterra? I'm still struggling to get used to it because I'm used to the humming sound of the Excalibur, and I can distinguish the different sounds with this one. Just pop, pop, pop. <laughs> so no, I, I don't know how to read the actual figures yet, but I'm trying it out and it's going alright. Good, good. It's lighter to walk with here, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right then. Okay. Well done. <laughs> Left at around quarter to six. And we were on the farm by ah, easily by seven o'clock. So uh, they don't take any prisoners. And this is the terrain. It's uh, scrubby. It's um, vast. Just to give you a quick look at where we are. This is a huge, huge plateau in the Karoo. The Karoo, South Africa. Now we're going to go up and talk to a few of the the Kohlsberg hunters with um, Lucas organizing everything from his museum up there on the uh, Port Elizabeth area. So how are you getting on? Slowly. <laughs> Very slowly. Yeah, any finds? Uh, some martini cartridge. Tinny cartridge, yeah. Uh, Martini Henry soft, soft case cartridge. Right. Um, not too much else, eh? Not too much. Is it difficult? Is it difficult to rent? Yeah, it seems yeah. a bit uh, yeah. dried up. Somebody could have used a lawnmower if they knew we were coming. <laughs> <laughs> we'll organize them to burn next time. <laughs> My name's Tunis Conradi. Yeah, on the 27th annual hunt. Slender Fontaine. Yeah, I'm trying to find some nice bits for the museum. Good. <laughs> There's somebody who didn't make it back. Skulls and bones everywhere. Wolfgang, how are you? How are you getting on? Uh, very disappointing. Is it? Oh, there's no, nothing really uh, at the moment. Uh, seven years ago, I found a very nice uh, Worcester uh, rifle a lapel badge, and um, I was hoping for another one. But so far, everybody's been unlucky. So either the items have all been found or the ground conditions are just wrong. Right, yeah. Uh, well, it's early days yet. Well, it's, we've it's still only. Got another, another four days left uh, yeah. besides today. So that, the that, chances of finding something other and exciting is still there. And it's only five past nine. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. How is the uh, sovereign working for you? Yeah, uh, beautifully. Uh, I still think it's one of the best machines that Mine Labs ever made. It uh, it's an joy to use, and uh, I trust it impeccably. Uh, so yes, uh, it's working and doing its thing. Fantastic. Thanks. Hey, donkey. So I nearly fell down an aardvark hole all over the place here. It's rough terrain. You got to really watch yourself when you're walking. There's another one there. Look. Look at the size of that thing. How are you getting on? Good. Yep. Yeah, not a couple of badges. A couple of nice badges. And a Worcester regiment. Very nice. 
Yeah. I like that one. Yeah. That's lovely. Yeah. yeah. How are you finding the digging? Is it tough going? That one was laying right on the top, eyes only. Hmm. And then I've got lots of bits and pieces. An old powder compact. I think you're doing uh, probably very well, considering the... Uh, the terrain. The terrain is very, very so, tough, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's tough running. Yeah. I seem to find little pockets where they've sat in it and put their kit down. And lost buttons, a piece of a fork. Yeah, that's the second fork I've seen now. And, yeah. uh, and the proof is in the pudding. That would have been a big impact. Ooh. Yeah, that would, have, rock, that, that would have hurt. Yeah. Really squashed. Yeah. Yes, that's about it so far. All right, Cherry. Well done. Thank you. And keep hunting. Yep. It is only 20 past nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably 10 hours to go. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm Lucas van der Merwe. I'm the organizer for this trip. I'm doing this for 28 years now. And it looks like everybody's enjoying themselves. The camp that we're doing now is the Slangersfontein camp. Uh, that was one of the horse camps uh, during the Anglo-Boer War. Uh, the museum is uh, near Patensi. It's near Port Elizabeth, about 90 kilometers from Port Elizabeth. That's about uh, the 31 years that I'm doing it now. That's uh, most of the stuff that's uh, in the museum. Mostly uh, Boer War stuff and also coins from overseas. Most of the blokes that uh, are on the trip, they contribute to the museum. And yeah, we've got a lot of stuff there. People must come and visit us. All right. Maybe. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. see you soon. Looks like some kind of a waterway. Must have been a stream here at one stage, streaming down the hill. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. How are you getting on? I'm doing, uh, um, um, I only found one, one strange thing that I can show you. I've got absolutely no idea what it is. I don't, I don't either. I think it's part of a lamp, maybe, but no idea. How are the conditions here? Uh, it's hard working. There's not many, um, not many finds today, but it's nice to be in the field and everybody's happy. There was a few nice finds made by Jerry, I think. Uh, for the rest, we'll just have to go on searching. Well, my, my name is Pierre Norkia. I was 52 years old. I look at the Boerenoorlogfelde. I go from strand uh, detecting and I uh, um, do it al for 15 years. The Karoo? Uh, I is the third, vierde the keer that I in the Karoo kom zoek. And uh, ons zoek altijd die boere oorlog, uh, velde hier so. Um, en ons geniet het elke slag as ons kom. <laughs> Baie dankie. Baie dankie. You can see the, the variety of metal artifacts. Pretty interesting. Um, and a detectorist's bucky, which is a pickup in our language. They carry everything with them.